All right, well, this is a uh, Laser Sabers Easy Spin version 2. It's the 3D printed pulse motor. And uh, Laser Saber sent me the uh, injected, or not injected, the printed parts, the plastic parts. And then I wound up the coils and added the little uh, reed switch. And uh, he had already assembled the rotor with the magnets for me. So it was. Uh, not bad except for winding the coils which are very very hard they're very fine wire they're a 42 gauge uh, magnet wire you have to use an electric drill and it's thousands of turns the each uh, coil measures uh, 1000 ohms of resistance there's 12 of them so there's 1200 ohms 12,000 ohms of resistance in the coil chain the uh, coils are connected in series, north-south, north-south, north-south. There's uh, six magnets on the rotor and uh, 12 coils. The uh, reed switch down in there fires between the coils so that the rotor is pushed and pulled around the motor like this. Anyway, uh, for any people that are um, questioning uh, the validity or the truthfulness of what Laser Saber has said or shown, um, what he's shown is completely accurate. I've been doing some tests with uh, these little tiny capacitors and some other things here, and this is an amazing device. And I'll be doing some more uh, testing with it. But uh, this is running on an electrolytic capacitor. Uh, this particular one is a 10,000 uh, microfarad 10 volt capacitor, just so that it'll rev up enough and I can uh, show you uh, what's going on. Um, I ran this last night on uh, eight of the coils with that uh, 5 farad uh, super cap. And uh, I stopped it at 16 hours, and it still had uh, just about 2 volts on that cap that I'd filled up with 2.5 volts. Um, uh, the thing works as a generator as well as a motor as it goes around. And like I say, it's uh, an amazing device. Go over to Laser Saber's uh, channel and check it out, and he has the files you can download and take this to a printer and have it printed out if you don't have a 3D printer. Uh, the bobbins, of course, are printed too, but you have to wind the coils, and that takes a lot of patience and a lot of time. Uh, you have to put these little uh, extensions on the wire, these little uh, copper wires. Uh, there's no way to really connect this without uh, these little stud type things, these little connectors that you have to be very careful how you do it. But Anyway, that's uh, the first go around of this uh, Laser Saber Easy Spin version 2 running on an electrolytic capacitor. Thanks, Laser Saber, for sending that to me. And I do recommend everybody that watches your videos to, uh, if you can, build one of these. Thank you.